Nick. I'm going to tell you welcome back to Argentina, but we are almost in the verge to give you a passport, <laughs> an Argentinian know, passport. Somebody once said to me that I'm more Argentinian than inflation. So yeah, <laughs> I, um, I love the country and we love uh, spending time here. And you are going to spend a lot of time here, but you're also going to play at the PM Open. It's a huge stage, it's a huge crowd, and it's more exciting because now we are champions of the world. World yeah. Cup champions of the world. Yeah, no, it's a really, it's a special year this year. Yeah. We all, I think, most people will remember where they were when Argentina won the World Cup this year. It's always amazing to play here. Um, this year I think there'll be a special energy because everyone's so pumped up with the World Cup and 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 it's a great lineup this year. It's myself, uh, Chapman Castello, my great friend Nicholas Rada and a great female DJ from Argentina, My Lawson. So it's gonna be a great lineup from early evening right the way to the finish. It's excited to to be able to work with people that you also love. Yes, of course. And I've I've made some special edits because I know certain things <laughs> There might be something from the World Cup that appears in the set. Maybe. This is exclusive. Maybe. <laughs> so I'm working on that and there's other ideas. So yeah, it's going to be a special night. The great thing is that, that uh, before I do events like this in Argentina, pretty much every Argentinian producer sends me their <laughs> new music, um, hoping I'm going to play something of theirs. So there is a lot of Argentinian music that's going to be played that night. And I never tell the guys before I play it. I never say, oh, I'm going to play your track. I never tell them. So they have to wait on the night and see which ones I play. But no, it's going to be a great. Uh, and the guys, um, it's, uh, uh, for PM, it's their 10th anniversary. I think everybody involved, uh, they've been super professional with everything. So I'm looking forward to it. How can you, uh, after listening to tons of tons of music, can hear something different. What has a track has to It's have my foot. To, oh. it, it's that foot, you see. So when I, uh, because I listen for maybe three or four hours every day, new music. So my email each morning is full of pieces of music. <laughs> if that starts to go that, like this. Your wife knows yeah, that yeah, yeah, you like yeah, something yeah, when yeah, you yeah. hit the ground. Yes, exactly. So if it's this, okay, it's coming in. And how is your connection with popular music in, in Argentina. I mean, we have a, a huge rock and roll tradition. Yes, of course. And, you know, Gustavo Cerati, yes, uh, yes. uh, Pesa Raros, a huge uh, yes. electronic rock yeah, band. Yeah, yeah. How is that connection with, with your music? Um, I was never really a rock fan. It's not really my thing. I, oh, uh, when I was young, I was into bands like um, New Order, Tepeche Mode, The Cure. So I was more of the indie. I had stupid hair, you know. I still have stupid hair, but then I had more stupid hair then. And, and so the rock side wasn't so much. Serati, obviously, everybody loves Serati. I once chat with Hernán Cataño sí. and he told me that he owed his entire career uh, to you. That's, uh, yeah. How is that bond? That bond that it's almost 30 years old. Yeah, sure. It's, it's a rare thing in this business. You know, you know many, many people, hundreds of DJs, hundreds of people, but then Hernán and I have, have always, it's like your best friends, no matter what your job is. So you might see them every day or you might see them every four years. It's exactly the same when you see them. It's that groove you get into, you sit and you talk and you know, and you, you can, hug. you're close. I mean, and Hanana like this, you know. And that bond is extra professional, I mean, uh, in the music. Uh, yeah, of how, course. How you connect musically? Well, we, we never discuss it. 
We have never, lit. ever discussed our back-to-backs before. We, we say afterwards, yeah, that was great, or that was good, or that was amazing, but, but, there, but there, we never make plans. The process begins the same. I always go first, and we go three tracks, three tracks, three tracks, three tracks, all night long. And it works super well, and, and it's kind of fun because uh, he's always got new music that I don't know, and I always have new music he doesn't know. So you'll see me sometimes in the back to back, just look over his shoulder like that. Okay, what's this? And he does the same to me, and it's, it's fun. Uh, and it's amazing because you are two of the greatest of all time, and there is no ego between you two. Oh, but then, but of, of course we have ego, but then, but then, but then it's, it's I, think, I think we both understand that we're really lucky, you know? It's, imagine, because I was in love with music, I never dreamed I would, that I would come to Argentina every year for three <laughs> for months. Um, meet, meet so many friends, um, experience an amazing country, because I do love your country so much. It's not just the parties, but then uh, Petra and I visit um, all the areas of your country. Last week I was in, in Tierra del Fuego, fishing, fishing. which is amazing. <laughs> but, then, but then we go everywhere and we have a great time. And it's very special to me. When I walk around the streets of Buenos Aires, people come and ask me for photographs or to say hi in there, and they're always super respectful, super nice. And it's, and you know, um, I'm very lucky. celebrated 35 years of career last year. Yeah. Uh, how have you changed over? Uh, how do you think you evolved as a uh, as DJ? I think I'm a better DJ now than I was then. I think um, I think it's 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 like wine. I think as you get older, you get maybe better. You know. Um, it's, I don't know because the time has gone. It has flat. If it, um, I first came here, I think. Uh, Creamfields in 2001, maybe, and it feels like yesterday, you know. And funnily enough, in the early years, I used to always stay in, I'm in the Madero Hotel. Yeah. And now we're going to do the party in Madero, so it's kind of going back going to my back roots. Going back to where you belong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. We'll it's see pleasure. you on, on February. Yes, and you are welcome here. You know, no, thank this you. is your home. Oh, muchas gracias. Yes.